Hello and welcome to this screencast. In this screencast I'm going to be using the Mac version of Excel and the latest version of Stat Plus. In particular I'm going to be highlighting one of the potential pitfalls of using Stat Plus. I'll also be using uh, the inbuilt Excel function known as Linest which provides a kind of workaround when Stat Plus doesn't work. OK, as you can see, I have filled out the OCS34 Spectrum uh, worksheet with the initial and final quantum numbers, the independent variables, together with a calculation of the dependent variable in wave numbers. With this information, I can take a copy of the dependent and independent variables and paste them into STAT plus, which I will do here. OK. With that completed, I can now perform a multivariate linear regression. Right, so what we need to do is highlight the dependent variables, which I'm doing here. Notice, of course, the labels in the first row are automatically checked off here, and also the no intercept model is automatically checked off. Returning to the box there, I can now input the independent variables which go from B1 through to C26 and then simply press OK. Now this looks slightly different from the Windows version but all the data is here except that if you notice in row 19 we have indeed identified a value for the rotational constant which is the parameter associated with the 2 into j plus 1 independent variable, but it has not been able to regress out the centrifugal distortion constant, which is the parameter associated with the minus 4 into j plus 1 cubed independent variable. This is a relatively common problem when there is a vast difference between the absolute values of the parameters that you're trying to regress. As far as I know, there isn't really an easy way of working around this using STAT+. Plus. Instead, we have to return to uh, the inbuilt functions that Excel already offers. In particular, we can use the function known as linest. I'm going to do that in cell K2 here. So the command that we need to enter is linest, so L-I-N-E-S-T, open bracket. Um, the variables I need to enter are the known Ys, the dependent variables, followed by the independent variables, plus a logical parameter, true or false, as to whether there is a constant in the model, in this case of course that will be false, and whether we want additional stats, and yes we do for this particular case, so that will be set to true. So let me highlight the known Ys, and in this case we do not input the label. So it starts from G2 through down to uh, G26, comma known Xs, so that's going to be H2 down to I26, and false because there is no constant but true because I do want the additional variables and press return. Right, well this has not helped us yet. We have now to create uh, an array formula out of Linest and we do that by highlighting um, uh, the appropriate number of cells, the matrix of cells. Now we want to highlight two columns because there are two parameters that we are searching for, and five rows in order to collect all the possible additional data that Linus can provide. Okay, so two parameters, 
but if you had more parameters then you would have to have more columns but always five rows. So I've highlighted my two columns and five rows here. I then click the cursor inside the formula frame and then on the Mac I use command shift enter to create the array formula. Command shift enter like so. If you were using the Windows version it would be control shift enter. So what have I got here? Well the interesting information as far as we are concerned are the values in the, essentially the first two rows. For some reason that I'm oblivious to, uh, the parameters are given in reverse order. So the first parameter in column K is actually associated with last parameter in your independent variable matrix. In this case it's associated with my centrifugal distortion constant D and the last variable here is my first um, is associated with my first independent variable which is of course my rotational constant. The next row highlights the uncertainties in my rotational constant and my centrifugal distortion constant. So if you are faced with a situation in which stat plus for some reason does not appear to be able to perform the regression appropriately then your alternative is to use linest. Thanks for listening.